Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Ghost Thief Deadly Shadows. Today we're going to tackle the Sunken Citadel. I've already practiced ran it once, so we should be good to go. Let's get started. Our safe, our save camped out in the sewers is perfectly safe, but I'll still just immediately hit right click and let Garrett brief you on the new mission. Looks like I've found the entrance to the sunken citadel Keeper Rafe talked about in his journal. According to him, the glyph key disappeared underground sometime too long ago to think about. Rafe also mentioned caverns swarming with strange creatures. Guess that's why the Keepers put a glyph lock on the entrance. It would be nice to know what sort of creatures, but the Keepers have never been much for useful detail. Turns out not only did the glyph key disappear down here, but so did Rafe. The Keepers never sent anyone after him, but I don't expect he's still exploring the place. I don't have any good leads on where to look for the key, but I can start by looking for Rafe's remains. There we go. Expert difficulty, as always. Our goals. Find the Keeper glyph key. Get back to the surface by returning to your entry point. Note, searching for Keeper Rafe might be a good start. Keepers on excursions often mark their trails with glyphs. Okay. Let's look at our gear going in at the end of day four. I've got a blackjack, my dagger, 25 water arrows, 30 broadhead arrows, 5 noisemaker arrows, 5 gas arrows, 20 moss arrows, 15 fire arrows, 5 holy waters, 4 oil flasks, 10 health potions, 2 explosive mines, 20 flash bombs, 4 gas bombs, 17,300 gold, no new upgrade, so I've got the eye, the door glyph, the lock picks, the climbing gloves, and the broadhead and moss arrow upgrades for the factions. I'm carrying 550 loot, a little bit of each variety, no, nothing serious. Quest items, I've got my velvet bag, my pagan sapling, my climbing gloves, the compendium of reproach, and a bunch of keys. And finally, I do have a map of this mission. We got it from Gravid's cell back in Stone Market on day one, if you remember that long ago. So we're gonna come in here on the north. We'll have to move through the entry plaza. This is the outer citadel zone. So to the west and the outer citadel is the theater. On the east side is the arena. And then south of there is the passage to the second zone called the citadel core. We'll enter the citadel core through the bathhouse. South of there, is the library. To the east is a passage which ultimately leads to the throne room. So, let's get started. Sunken Citadel's really not bad at all. There are only a couple of trouble spots. By my, by my rules, it's possible to ghost the mission and to perfect thief it, although it's arguable whether or not that's the case and it's definitely not possible to supreme ghost it. I'll show you why. So as we move through this initial tunnel towards the entry plaza, we see this red glyph on the ground. That's Rafe's way of marking his path. Next to this first glyph is a ruby worth 125, brings my total to 3%. And we arrive at the entry plaza. There are two Kershock in here, but Navigation isn't too much of a problem. In this pool to the left as we come in, you'll see a water arrow right over here. And past that, we find this stone coffin on it. There's a note to read. Four clicks for the pride of existence. We are Kershock, most bold, most brave, most clever among all the world's creatures. Scholars and adventurers, most favored in the eyes of him, the Leaf Lord. Five clicks for Gruliak, most favored of all and king of the Kershock. Human and tree bow before him and we bathe in glory. Three clicks for the vanity of pride. Our people built towering castles and mighty ships. Among all the Leaf Lord's creatures, we were most favored. Still not content, we wished to be set apart, but still we were favored, and the Leaf Lord gifted the king called Gruliak once 
more with a golden crown of power. Two clicks for the folly of vanity. Gruliac donned the crown and felt its power. Gruliac the beautiful. Gruliac the strong. Gruliac the mighty spoke. I am greater than the Leaf Lord himself. But dark and terrible is the Leaf Lord, and as great was his love for the Kershock, now twice as great was his anger. One click for the doom of folly. The Leaf Lord opened the earth and banished us beneath it. Here we dwell forever with no lord or ally, no sun or moon, no rain or wind. The Leaf Lord reached out for the gift he had given us. Gruliac fought him bravely and kept for us the crown, but his hand was destroyed as are we. So I find it easiest to just hop up onto this block. But he, he green alerted, so I'll try that again. As you saw, we kind of have to pass through a patch of light after we mantle up there, but it's easy enough to get to, to, get to a shadow in the center. Just gotta wait a little bit longer, wait until he actually turns away and starts his patrol. I always get impatient, and it never ever works. It's foolish of me, really. I'll just wait for him to turn and walk away, then I'll go after the statue. <laughs> So there's the bird statuette. Count one for the time in the light. It goes away. No, it does not go by itself. So the bird statuette's worth a hundred twenty. I, I catch what I find. It's worth a hundred twenty-five. Brings my. This is getting annoying. Bird statuette, worth 125, brings my total to 6%. Triggers a yellow alert from the patroller when they when he sees it missing. So do be wary of that. Too much noise. I got excited because that looked like Perfect timing with the two of them over there. But alas, it wasn't. Not quite yet, anyway. Now it is. There's Rafe's next glyph. Before you blow past it, make sure you get this diamond here in the southwest corner of the entry plaza. That's worth 150 and brings my total to 9%. Now as we move up here, Garrett will have a comment to make. Giant rats. Great. As we see our first rat man. Now there's a silver candlestick here worth 50, brings my total to 10%. There's a note to read. Us orderings, finders them crown taken long ago by them's Kershock who betrayed the leafy king. Checks for them throne room, bees might there. We takers us it back with us, returns it to him that feeders us and drinks us in honeyed mead, them woodsy lord. Kills us any Kershock or other getters in our way, shaman cornbriar. And uh, before I pop out of here, I'll say one other thing. That silver candlestick? It's going to trigger a red alert from the rat man when he notices it missing. This is the first time that's happened. I still say missing loot alerts shouldn't count as busts because the whole spirit of the ghost rules say the only evidence of your passing should be the loot you have taken. So I don't think it should matter, but if you believe that the simple fact of a red alert should be a bust, period, then you have to skip that candlestick. A golden crown, eh? Now I'm interested. And we got a new objective, which is 
to steal the Kershock crown from the former throne room. I'm gonna wait for him to spot the missing candlestick and get his alert over with. See, he goes full red alert just because the candlestick is gone. Well, I say full red, it's a second alert in the first two games. He's not in combat mode or anything. So I'm just going to follow him south out of this area. You see Rafe's glyph indicates that he headed east, which is toward the arena. I'm going to head south and west into the theater instead. I mean, we'll go everywhere eventually, but you, you know what I mean. I'll wait right here for him to resume his circle. And as we get past him, if you go around behind this pillar, find a note. Shaman, I be's thinking an idea. When we be's duns here, we should take see them diamond lights with us. It be's near them glowings crystal here in our base, where them Kershock Theater used to be's. I thinkers those city fools trading much with us for it. They lovers shiny rocks, and it be's doesn't look too heavy to, to carry. Willow tail. And around behind this is a gold nugget. That's worth 150, brings my total to 14%. Here's another copy of the exact same note. Shaman, I be's thinking an idea. When we be's done here, we should take see them diamond lights with us. It be's near them glowings crystal here in our base where them Kershock Theater used to be's. I thinkers those city fools trading much with us for it. They love her shiny rocks and it be's doesn't look too heavy to carry. Willow Tail. Now what kind of thief would I be if I didn't investigate this room with diamond lights? Lights. enough. Them's Kershock beats us always. Them's Kershock bees never earns it. So I like to just follow the rat man around making sure I stay flush with the wall so neither of those pagans see me. I'm gonna clear the rest of the room first before I go after the large diamond. So these are very simple. Right, right, left, right, left. If you open it up, there are Two gold coins and one pile of gold coins inside. 75 each bring my totals to 16%, 18%, and 20%. I'm gonna wait here for the rat man to pass by again. And then pick the lock on this other chest. It's the exact same lock. Right, right, left, right, left. <laughs> Inside is a health potion. <sighs> and three broadhead arrows, but I think I can avoid that green alert. I just need Garrett to be a little more cooperative in getting the stuff out of the chest. Try again. Right, right, left, right, left. Let's get to the side of it. Uh, 
There we go. Three broadheads and one health potion inside that chest. I'll wait for him to pass by one more time, and then I'm going to sneak over to the southeast corner. Now, the only way I've met... The only way I've found to get this large diamond without busting ghost, let alone supreme ghost, is to put out this torch. So we bust, uh, we bust supreme right there by putting out the torch. But what that allows us to do is creep past these two pagans. A thing... Here's me then. <gasps> Look it. over there. What I was able to do before was uh use the male pagan as hard cover to back up a ways from the uh two of them without getting spotted by the woman who's the problem. And once that was accomplished, <laughs> I was able to get the large diamond with uh, nothing but a green alert from her with a good bit of speed. So let's try again. There we go. A thing movered. No. There. Ha. I can't stop for every ruggedy toad. So there we go. You can get right under it with nothing but a green alert. Now he shouldn't see me on his way back around. Nope, very good. So you can grab it from here. The large diamond is worth 500, brings my total to 32%, and it's the first piece of special loot. So now I'm gonna go back out the way I came. Need to run in and crouch behind the guy. Hey. Finally, I'm always nervous when I do something on my first try in the <coughs> practice run. I figure that means it's going to be harder when I try again. Hayes. So, bees that? Hmm. Right. Something. Well, going a little bit slower was actually better that time. That wasn't good enough. Yes. Who bees? What? What bees there? Damn it. speed again why not a little bit of them jacksbury wine sounds good he hears me that is that you cedar yeah that's hey, not gonna geez. work maybe if i just jump over the railing and land back on the ground it could work maybe i'll give that a whirl Cedar? Yellow alert, same as before. Okay, I have one more thing to try. I mean, in my practice run, it worked to go out the same way I came in. I'm going to try sprinting straight across and dropping over the edge. See if that works. Here's me. 
offers me that. Who bees? What? What bees there? Hmm. I feel like maybe that should have worked if Garrett had gone straight over instead of hugging the edge for that extra second like he did. So I'm going to try that again. Here's me that. Is that you, Cedar? Nope. Yellow. Same as before. Nope. We're going to stick with what worked in my practice run. We're going to go back out the same way. need to find the right balance between speed and caution. What bees? Damn. I knew it. Seems to me that that balance leads heavily toward caution. Leans heavily toward caution. I do much I've done much better by going slow. So that's my inclination as to how to proceed here. <sighs> yes! <gasps> Look over there! Is you see that too? Crud. <laughs> I swear to you, I got this work. <sighs> My first try in uh, my practice run. Here's me that. What be that I saw? Again, I wonder. Nothings. What made me jumpers? There we go. Nothing but green. Let's get down the stairs now. <gasps> hey, so is that you? There he the sounder. Right. Not quite out yet, obviously. Try this again. Buzz, 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 buzz. Pours the wings off. Not buzz, not buzz. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. There we go. That's what we're after. That's worth a real save. So we got our large diamond. All it took was some green alerts and a water arrow. So it's a special loot item. It can't be skipped. So that busts. So that busts supreme. But it leaves normal ghost intact, provided you don't think that the uh, red alert from the candlestick busted ghost. Bees a message to them shaman cornbriar. Shaman, I bees want you helpings in findering me my them battle horn. I bees lost it, it nears them Kershaw catchery. It bees them ivory horn with them rubies. Them red rubies like them bloods of our enemies. Maybe some herbals or them shaman magics could helping us finder it. Please be helper me, Willow Reed. Not very musical, but an ivory horn with rubies? That sounds like it might play my kind of tune. So, just follow him. He's, you see the glyph there? There's the load zone to Citadel Core. I want to finish clearing the outer Citadel first. So I'm going to wait here until the rat man heads back out of this room. <sighs> And then there's a lot of loot to get in this area. Inside this coffin, and you can get it through the wall, is a ruby tiara worth 100, brings my total to 
head down to the water. You can find a copper bracelet worth 75, brings my total to 36%. And a silver urn worth 150, brings my total to 40%. And then if you jog over to the next area, on this table, you can find two silver candlesticks. 50 each bring my total to 41% and 42%. Over to the north, and I'm listening for the rat man. I think I can get across clear. Oh, he green alerted. Okay. Let's just have that basic level of patience required to wait for him to... Head back again to the west. It is west, right? Yes. Over here in the north, if you get over this pillar, you can find a jade on the ground. Worth 100, brings my total to 45%. And then through this passage, down the stairs, you see we're heading away from Rafe's path now. We're sort of backtracing it. I'm coming up on the arena. Now, inside the arena, there are a total of three Kershock, and there are two rat men who run in and get into a fight with them. The rat men usually lose, but not always. And either way, there are going to be some bodies and some people might be on alert, but it's because of the scripted fight between those two sides. So you can already see a piece of loot gleaming under that blue flame. So we head over here and grab it. It's a silver nugget worth 100, brings my total to 47%. Okay, looks like the fight. Better hope I'm not sticking around long enough to see these hatch. Okay. I'm not finding the aftermath. The fight's happening right now. So as you see, the Kershock easily won. I'm gonna grab that gold urn off the bridge. It's worth 175, brings my total to 51%. And then... Before those two come back into the arena and resume their regular patrols, I'm going to take advantage of the distraction, drop down here. Damn, he saw me. So as you can see, the third one is under the bridge. Let's hold to the inner wall a little bit as we drop. Should still be able to get that moss arrow. And right here is a safe spot. Move forward under the bridge. I think he should be gone by now. Nope, he's on his noise. He's on his way up. <laughs> Well, I'll just wait until I see him and then break right into that passage. Yeah, if he's on his way up, I should see him any second. There he is. He'll pause there and he'll turn around. Then I should be able to get in under there. So, there's a golden dagger in that chest, worth 50, brings my total to 53%. Then we need to move down here, but we need to be wary of the patrolling Kershock. He holds to the east side, he patrols kind of over to the east side of the coffin, then comes back and goes back up the stairs. So, when he's upstairs... Just creep into the coffin, get the pagan battle horn off the top, it's worth another 50, brings my total to 54%, it's the second piece of special loot for this mission. Then while he's paused up here, 
get up to the top and wall flatten. Let him get by. It goes away. He'll yellow alert to the missing horn. I'm not worried about that. Now I'm going to leave here over where the rat men were. There are plenty of shadows here in the arena, but... Needed to be a little faster if I wanted to avoid that green alert. I guess I could also just follow the Kershock. I think I'll do that instead. It makes more sense to me. I'm only hesitant because that side has less shadows, but... Well, I'm already committed to being up here anyway, so I guess I'll just wait until I see him go by. Because he shouldn't spot me here. As he goes by... <laughs> I can get up here without any alerts. Head past the dead rat men. In their room, here on the floor is a gold goblet worth 75, brings my total to 56%. And then up at the top of these stairs, by these rocks, there's another silver nugget worth 100, brings my total to 58%. Now that's it for the outer citadel. Now I'm just gonna go sneak by the rat men and the pagans again to get to the load zone over to the citadel core. I don't know why he's uh, skipping his pauses, but doesn't matter much. Now, the same thing is here as before. Just follow the rat man around the blue torch. Stick to the wall so the pagans can't spot me. Get over to the load zone. It's easiest just to wait till we see the rat man and then follow him. Although if he's, if he's, I just saw him go toward the load zone. So if I wait for him to come out, he'll head. Oh, nope, he's coming over here. Well, is he going to go back in there, or has he changed up his order? Oh, he's changed his order of operations. Doesn't matter much. You see Rafe's glyphs pointing us toward the Lord zone. Lord. Toward the load zone. So, let's get in there. So we have arrived in the Citadel Core. That's worth a real save. And we start off in the bathhouse. I'm going to take this side passage over to the north. Inside this coffin here, along the north wall, you can get it through the coffin, is a health potion. Do for the man who is missing. Mm, no concern. He was head sick, believed in upside world. He spoke to me. To so, I don't want to interrupt their conversation, but that cat statuette's worth 100, brought my total to 63%, lying there in the there must be upside. northeast corner. Stories must be true, else where did strangers come from? Do for 
Bane fever you suffer from, just like him. Well, he is gone somewhere. Why not upside world? World is there. Not believe this is world. Wishes make head sick. I talk no more. So when they're done, grab the ruby goblet out of that chair. It's worth 100, brings the total to 63%. And they'll one at least one of them will yellow alert when he notices it missing. Now there's a water arrow down by that blue flame that I want to pick up. Getting that's just a matter of good timing. That's just green alerts, but it's, I can it avoid them. Do, do, do. Happy telling. So let's try that again as we have an opportunity. Crud! Ah, close, but no cigar. Anyway, you should have seen a couple of Rafe's glyphs at the entrance, pointing to and through the bathhouse. Try one more time. Just because I found that shadow on the stairs to stand in. If you bounce up and down like that, you can speed up. You have to be careful not to do it too much or they'll still hear you, but it's faster than just straight crouch walking for sure. Anyway, grab it. Just get to the shadow and park. Good. Now let's try getting up. Also good. Now here There's the yellow alert from the missing goblet. So for my purposes, I'm just going to mantle through this window to get out of the bathhouse. Damn. 